guys here with a new video for the channel i hope you like it and if you like it don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level comment and subscribe now without further ado get comfortable let's begin the whole body of goku was releasing an overwhelming power that's right this time kakarot had totally fused with goku which was making him lose control due to the great negative energy that kakarot possessed xenosama in that instant would rush against goku with the intention of stopping him since the power he was releasing was a bestial one, and it could explode, but the moment of approaching, hundreds of rays would go through his whole body, making him spit a great amount of blood. Whis in the same way had thrown himself against Goku, but in the same way it would be useless since a great barrier would repel him, and at the moment it would cause a great explosion leaving Whis with a few wounds. I can't go on like this, I have to use it, after millions of years! Instantly, Xenosama, at an astonishing speed, would stand in front of a great power which, being in front of it, even a surprising pressure would be felt. My authentic power, the power beyond the power of a king of everything. I, Zen the Annihilator, will recover the power that made the whole universe tremble zero. All that great negative power would begin to enter the body of Xenosama, which in the same way would begin to cause destruction throughout all the universes, which would even be more catastrophic than those of Goku. All the gods of Universe Zero would realize that the power of Xenosama had returned. This power, after so many millions of years you've decided to regain your power, Zen the Annihilator of Six Super Gods. Meanwhile, Daishenken and Miris at that moment would fall to their knees, not being able to move even a little bit. Yoto would instantly feel an incredible pressure in his whole body, but would release a great power being able to free himself from the pressure. Damn Zeno, you think you're going to go back to the war of millions of years, but a gigantic power's on your side. But in all that universe, in the same way of a great tremor would be felt, since the most powerful god of all the universe, Zero, had released his incredible murderous aura, which was more of a neutralizing everything around him. But he would increase his power a little more, being able to make even his other colleagues feel such incredible pressure. So that useless one has accepted his murderous nature. But that warrior next to him also gives off a great power. This will be a lot of fun. The whole universe Zero would be wrapped in a great red energy, just like the pressure that God gave off. Returning to the palace of Xenosama, the same with his true power, would pounce on Goku, which, to everyone's surprise, was able to stop the blow of Xenosama with only one of his hands. But the color of his hair was totally red. That's right, Kakarot had manifested completely. So, this is the true power of the King of the Whole. It is incredible, but that power will not be enough to face me, the Saiyan God of Death. Xenosama would be sent to fly to a planet which would be destroyed due to the incredible power of Kakarot's blow. Whis would be surprised to see how even the king of everything with his hidden power was not able to do anything against Goku. This is bad. The negative power that surrounds Lord Goku is overwhelming. If nothing is done, that power will not completely be controlled and all 12 universes will be annihilated. Xenosama, knowing that in the past, he was even feared by the gods of Universe Zero, would use much more power, beginning to exchange blows with Kakarot at an incredible speed. But Xenosama, despite that great power, was not able to cope with Kakarot, which, in every moment of the battle, was dominating it completely. Kakarot was able to connect a powerful blow in the abdomen of Xenosama, which made him spit blood. In spite of being a king at all, you don't have the necessary power to compare with me. You're still a simple child. Xenosama Furious would create a big explosion when Kakarot was a few centimeters away from him. However, the explosion, despite being catastrophic, at the time of dissipating, a large dome of dark energy could be observed, which was completely surrounding Kakarot. I don't think that you'd be able to explode. If I hadn't created my barrier, I'd end up lying on the ground. After all, you are somewhat talented. Kakarot would begin to massacre Xenosama, which with each great blow received, his power would begin to diminish considerably. This would surprise all the gods of the universe Zero, which were watching everything that happened from a large sphere. At the time, Frieza would be able to recognize Goku. That dabbed monkey, I swear I'd be able to finish him off. Reich would instantly go back to staring at him. Is he the guy who defeated you? That's right. I told you he had great power, but who is he fighting with? 
with his, the pressure he was feeling a moment ago from that wretch. Damn it. Frieza didn't lose because he was weak. He wasn't wrong when he said that bastard would be able to defeat me. I don't have the confidence to defeat him with my current power. Yota would also be surprised to know that the warrior who was humiliating Xenosama, who was able to kill six super gods and called Zen the Annihilator, was very thoughtful, not knowing what kind of power that warrior possessed. Daishaken, and Miris, come here quickly. I want to explain to completely everything that was done to that Saiyan and how such a powerful being always went unnoticed. Son Goku is a mortal of a race called Saiyan, whose capacity is to increase his power with each battle. But there has never been in a Saiyan to surpass the power of a god of destruction, much less the power of an angel. But when we realized that their power had no limit, we decided to lock them in the Room of Time, along with the Angel of Universe 7 since he did not agree. A simple mortal was able to master the Ultra Instinct that even for the Decios is completed to it, and was able to destroy the Divine Seal level 5. This is crazy! Returning to the battle, Kakarot was having total advantage over the battle. That's right, just like that, with a great blow he would send Xenosama to crash. Xenosama, in spite of getting up every time, was not able to assimilate the mass of energy, which for the first time, he felt terror in his whole body, since he was not able to do anything against Kakarot. Xenosama was not able to control the panic he felt when observing the red eyes of that Saiyan. You're a monster! What the hell are you? I, who was considered an annihilator, don't possess all that power. You're a beast. Kakarot at that moment felt that he was exploding. That's right, the power that he was giving off needed a new transformation, so that he wouldn't explode with all the power that he was giving off. I was sealed for several years, but if this bastard dies, I'll die in the same way. So I'll help him overcome his power. Kakarot at that moment would create a great sphere in his hand, throwing it to the sky. At the moment of exploding, an artificial moon would be created, and at the moment of observing it, he would begin to transform into a great ape. But without losing the control, he would be able to access the Super Saiyan 4. But there was something different to the Super Saiyan 4 that Goku possessed, since this time the fur of Kakarot was of a purple color, while his eyes were all black. The imposing that was detached from the body of Kakarot was incredible, so much that in this occasion, at the moment of releasing a little of his power, Xenosama and Whis were not able to breathe because of the pressure that detached from the body of Kakarot. What is this? I'm not able to move! I can't breathe! Uh, Goku, please react! Meanwhile, all over Universe Zero, all that incredible pressure had brought most of the gods to their knees with the exception of the three most powerful beings, which were Dracoria, Yota, and Reich. But Yota and Reich found it hard to stand up since the energy dispersed throughout their universe was incredible. At the moment, Yota would realize that Daishank and Amiris were about to die due to the pressure that destroyed each of their organs. Dimension absorption! Vacuum deviation! The whole place where Yota and both warriors were training would be transported to the dimension very different from the one they were in. On the contrary of Frieza, who was about to receive help from Reich, he would return to his black Frieza state, with which it was very difficult for him to move, but he would not give up. I'll not let the pr simple pressure of that dirty monkey defeat me. I'll be able to end your pathetic life. And for this, I must see death up close. Returning to the realm of the whole, Kakarot would approach towards Xenosama, which was not able to move any muscle to be able to defend himself. But at the moment, the whole body of Kakarot would begin to release some incredible rays. That's right, Goku was maintaining a close battle against Kakarot for the control of the body. Instantly, all the power of Kakarot would begin to diminish considerably, and an incredible roar would be heard all over the universes, followed by the voice of Goku. I now let you control my body, but I accept to merge with you, so that you will never be sealed again. But if you don't accept it, I will seal you for the rest of eternity. A great battle in Goku's consciousness was taking place. After only 10 more minutes, Goku would be able to take control of his body, returning to Ultra Instinct, but lightning would come out of his body, knocking him out of combat. Goku's power is incredible! But he must learn to master it completely. It'll be better to train because he'll be a great ally against the gods of Universe Zero. 
Whis, with his baculum, would heal each one of his wounds, and in the same way, he would help Goku, taking him to a bed so that he would recover completely. Dracoria, who was observing everything that happened, was very pensive. The power of that guy is incredible, but I'm sure that my power is capable of defeating him. But I must not trust him, because he has an amazing hidden power. He was able to humiliate Zen the Annihilator, as if he were a simple child. Meanwhile, the other warriors who wanted to end the life of Goku, they were all training very hard. That is, they would continue with a rigorous training that'd be able to increase their power level much more, as well as Whis and Xenosama, which both would begin to train to be able to increase their power much more. Xenosama, Mr. Goku's power is amazing, but do you think he'll be able to master it completely? I have total confidence in Goku's ability, so I'm sure he'll be able to master all of this bestial power. At the moment, a great power would be felt through the whole kingdom. That's right, in the same way, a cold pressure would be created all over the place, implying that a part of Goku's power was darkness. Goku had recovered completely, but when he opened his eyes, hundreds of planets would be destroyed since he did not control his new power. So this is the power that belonged to us since our birth! This is incredible! The power is barbaric! Sir Goku, are you alright? That's right, Whis. Don't worry. An apology for everything that happened a few days ago. You have been able to master all this power. This is amazing. I can't believe it. With your power, we'll be able to finish with any being that comes in front of us. I haven't mastered it completely, since Kakarot's power is pure negative energy, unlike the power I usually use, but I'm sure I'll master 100%. With that power, no matter where Miris and my father are, we'll be able to take revenge for all the time they had left us locked up in that damn place. That's right, Whis, so it's time to train with even more determination than before. Goku would likewise join the training with the intention of increasing his power level even more. Meanwhile, in Universe Zero, Yoto was also very thoughtful because of all that power that Goku had unleashed that even made them tremble. No, this can't be happening. The power of that Saiyan is incomprehensible. I can't believe that he was able to humiliate Xeno the Annihilator with such incredible ease. Dracoria, on the other hand, with a very serious look, would send one of his henchmen to investigate all the life of that Saiyan. You are my priest. As my right hand, and also a Saiyan who has never known defeat, I want you to investigate all the power of that guy. As you command, my lord, it will be a pleasure. That warrior by the name of Akumo, and also the first Saiyan, would begin to increase his power to the maximum, so as not to be taken off guard. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it, and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.